Hey guys, uh, the AFL Yank back here again, uh, doing another AFL tipping video. This one's going to be really quick, just like last time. This is my uh, tips for round 10 of the 2022 AFL season. I ended up getting 6 out of 9 last week. Uh, the, tips, the tips I got right were the uh, Doggies, Richmond, Port, Swans, Lions, uh, Swans, Lions, and Melbourne. The three tips I got wrong ended up being Frio, GWS, and uh, Geelong, as they all lost to uh, they all lost to Carlton, Gold Coast, and St Kilda. But yeah, um, definitely a massive surprise for a team like uh, the Gold Coast Suns to all of a sudden be on a good run as of right now. But yeah, nonetheless, uh. On to the round 10 tips, and at Marvel Stadium, it is Carlton versus the Sydney Swans on the to start off the uh, for the Friday night game. This is going to be the second Swan. This is going to be the second game the Swans play in Victoria, and uh, for Carlton, they're on a very good streak as of right now, currently sitting at seven and two. This this game could definitely go either way. But yeah, currently as of right now, Carlton are actually being favored to win this game. I mean, they are in really good form as of right now, I mean. So are the things that, like, have gotten us off track for the Swans, and in regards to the Swans, have just been the lack of consistency. I mean, there has been consistency before, but... Yeah. This is very similar to the, uh... This game could be very similar to the Doggies game, in my opinion. Because, obviously, the Swans didn't were not in really good form after the uh, Cats game, of course. Like, just not... They weren't in good form at all at that time. But, they did get a nice win over... Uh, they did get a really good win over uh, Essendon, although... The Bombers have not been... Have not been a hot... To have, been not, have not been a hot side this year, and... Uh, I mean, you could say the same thing, obviously, for, uh, you could say the same thing for, uh, for a side like GWS, since obviously Leon Cameron is out over there. But man, this game is going to be very, very decisive, in my opinion. Like, this could definitely be close, but this is actually the first time I might actually tip against the Swans this season. Well, actually, this one's, like, neck and neck. This one's very neck and neck, in my opinion. But, nonetheless, I'm going to actually tip this in an upset. So, yeah, just forgive everything I said there, but I'm going to say the Swans win this in a sneaker by five points. I call, I'm call i calling this game to be an absolute thriller. And I feel like just... I feel like all of them, they're probably going to run out of juice in the... Uh, you know, in terms of staying undefeated. But yeah, I'm going to go with the Swans to win this game by uh, by five points in an absolute thriller. It will, It's definitely going to be a thriller. Just, Carlton's midfield also will be really strong too. Like, in a way similar to like a team like the Western Bulldogs, who absolutely dominated the Swans in round three. But... I mean, anything could happen. <coughs> there is a, but yeah, and also there is the possibility of both Mackay, of of course Mackay being out, obviously due to injury, and uh, there's a there's a likability that James Robottom will probably miss this game as well due to his hit on Zach Merritt. Although uh, currently they are the Swans are actually trying to get the uh, case appealed, repelled. They're trying to get the case repelled. I, I don't. <laughs> I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it. Obviously, or obviously I'm saying the wrong word. But uh, yeah. Next, it is the Geelong Cats versus Port. The Cats have been an absolutely dominant side at home as of you as usual. They are in a very good hot streak as of right now, and surprisingly enough, Porter actually, Porter definitely on, Porter back on track as of right now. They have been on a tear as of late. But yeah, the Cats coming off the loss against uh, against St. Kilda. I honestly do not see the Cats losing this game, in my opinion. I feel like 
I feel like they can rebound nicely from last week. I'm going to say Cats win this one in a thriller as well. I'm going to say nine points because Port have been a really good side as well as of late. <coughs> but yeah. Then at Moore Stadium, Western Bulldogs versus the Gold Coast Suns. Uh, the Doggies, they, they won last week against... Uh, they won against Collingwood last week. The Suns have actually been a really good side as of late. They they've been on a hot they've been on a they've been on a tear as of late. They absolutely dominated the Swans and even dominated Freo last week. Well the streak lasts to three. I honestly think the Suns will definitely play some really good form of footy, but I just feel like the doggies are gonna be too strong for them. I'm gonna go I feel like the dogs might just be a little bit strong for them. I'll say I'll say they win it by 14. <coughs> then Marvel Stadium. Look at that. 21 bucks. Dang. North Melbourne versus the D's. Now we all know, of course, the D's ended up running out of gas uh, against the Crows in Adelaide, but the D's are definitely um in fantastic form as of right now. But yeah, and they're looking like a shoe in for a potential for a potential back to back for a potential back to back uh premiership year. Regardless though, uh I'm gonna go D's to win this game. Uh I feel like the D's are gonna be too strong even if they play bad. I'll say D's win this by uh I'll say D's win this by sixty two. Like I feel like they're gonna be too strong. Adelaide Oval, the Crows versus St. Kilda. The Saints have been a very much on and off team this year, but when they're when they dominate, they absolutely dominate. But regardless, um this one's gonna be interesting. Like the Crows, they they could definitely play some great footy at times, but uh but like when they're off, they just absolutely get smothered. I feel like the same thing's going to happen to the Crows this week, and I'm going to go St. Kilda to win this game. Oh, wait, where... It doesn't even have the St. Kilda game. Uh, oh, it's out of order. It's out of... <coughs> it's out of order on Swiggle, but regardless. Um, and then the MCG, uh, Richmond versus Essendon. The Bombers have just been in terrible form this year. i am got to go with Richmond to win that game. I'll say Richmond win this game by uh, 36 points. And for the St. Kilda game, I'm going to say Saints win it by 27. Next is GWS versus the West Coast Eagles. The Giants most likely playing with their new head coach this week as Leon Cameron is obviously out as the head coach for GWS. And the West Coast Eagles have just been terrible, just absolutely awful. Like, no no clues here. I'm going with GWS to win this game. This is basically just a free win for the Giants. I'll say Giants win by 53. And then uh, Hawthorne versus the Brisbane Lions at, in Tasmania. The Hawks have definitely been on and off as a side this year, but when they, they could definitely go off on any team regardless. But let, but regardless, I think the Lions probably gonna be too strong for them. I'm gonna say Brisbane win this game. I'll say Brisbane win by 35. And then finally, Frio versus Collingwood. The Dockers coming off a very disappointing performance against against the Gold Coast Suns and Collingwood. They're obviously coming off a massive. Uh, and Collingwood, they're. Uh, they are also coming off a big loss against the Western Bulldogs. Anything could happen for this week, but I feel like if Frio remain their do- you know, re- you know, retain their dominance that they had, I think they could definitely win at uh I think they'll definitely win this game. If they just refine that they find that form that they had. I mean it was I mean they obviously played at Metricon, which the Gold Coast Suns have have turned some heads there, obviously, but yeah. Regardless, though, I'm going to say Frio win that game by 42 points. And those are my tips for uh, round 10 of the 
2022 AFL season. But yeah, D's first, Brisbane Lions second, Frio third, Swans fourth, Saints fifth, Carlton sixth, Cats seventh, and the Tigers in eighth, Doggies ninth, Port tenth, Collingwood eleventh, Gold Coast twelfth, Hawthorne thirteenth, Suns fourth, no, not Suns, Giants fourteenth, Adelaide fifteenth, Essendon sixteenth, and the North Melbourne and the West Coast Eagles both seventeenth and eighteenth. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This is actually my last video before uh, I actually graduate high school this this week. I graduate on Thursday. So you can wish me good luck there. But yeah. Yeah, final week of high school. I'm almost, almost heading to college. <laughs> but yeah, regardless, though, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I am the FA Yank. Signing out. Car in the Swannies.